Look at this strange and wonderful fruit that I came across at a Chinese supermarket in Markham, just north of Toronto in Ontario, Canada. Now these are actually super rare outside of Southeast Asia. They're grown prolifically in Indonesia and they call them salak. There's another name which is uh, snake skin fruit because you know the the skin of the fruit here looks just like a snake's skin. It actually feels like it as well. I mean, I think I have touched snake, but this is this skin is actually a little more coarse than snake's skin. If you go this way, it's very smooth. But if you go this way, you get a little resistance from the the platelets that are facing in your direction. So these are actually, <clears throat> they're in the palm family, which is Aracaceae, and but they are, um, their specific species is Salaka Zalaka. And <clears throat> as mentioned in Indonesia, they're just called Salak. And I'm not sure what cultiv cultivar these are. There are two popular cultivars. There's a Salak Pondo and Salak Bali. Those are the two most popular cultivars in uh, Indonesia. And these fruit are eaten quite, quite regularly. Um, the trees produce prolifically. They have a ton of trees. So let's peel one open and uh, take a look at what's inside. What we're after here is the seeds. So they say you just peel off the top like that to expose the fruit underneath. And then you just, it just comes off like that. So this was really a surprise that I saw it at the Chinese supermarket in Markham and in Canada of all places. I mean, we don't really have a huge, uh, huge Indonesian population here, but um, I guess one of the suppliers happened to have these, so they supplied it to the supermarket. So that's that's it. It comes out pretty easily. Um, people say it's kind of like it comes apart like garlic cloves, and. Um, So I'll just peel off that part because it's a little uh, oxidized. But let's have a taste. So it's quite delicious. It's crunchy like an apple right now. Crunchy like an apple or like raw garlic since it looks like garlic. And there's the seed inside. It's a nice and juicy seed, which kind of reminds me of jackfruit. So this should be really easy to propagate. So there's one juicy seed ready for germination. And of course it's a tropical plant, so no kind of treatment would be required. Just keep it in a warm place, about 21 to 25 degrees. Celsius and the wet paper towel method should work really well but uh, I read on a Salak farmers website that they should be soaked for 24 hours um, I'll just soak these and then we'll try what we'll actually try is we'll try soaking some we'll try some not soaked and then we'll try like putting them in dirt and then see if they germinate. Um, the wet paper towel method, we could try that too. That probably would work. So we'll do that after I peel all these. And so the flavor, the flavor of these, it's a little bit citrusy. And a 
little bit like jackfruit. Delicious, just very tropical, a little bit like pineapple as well. But uh, if you've ever been to Indonesia or eaten Indonesian food or know Indonesians or watch them on YouTube, you'll know that they like everything spicy, right? So let's try some of this hot sauce on it. And this is not weak hot sauce. This is a uh, scotch bonnet hot sauce from Jamaica. So let's see how that is. So that's pretty good too. Now let's see this one. It looks like this clove looks like the seed is not going to be developed very well. And yes, that is correct. There's no seed inside. So let's look at this one. Ah, oh, there's a fat seed inside. Now I also read online that they said that, um, it's, it sounds kind of weird, but they said that the fruit that only produces two seeds will is a male fruit, but that doesn't make sense because, you know, it's just the seed which is male or female. The fruit itself can't be male or female, but there's that one just had two seeds, but you see I have five seeds here because another one that I opened had three seeds. This one only had two seeds. I surmise that this uh, this one, which looks more full, would have three seeds, whereas this one would only have two seeds. So let's open this one because the one we just opened only had two seeds in it. So we will see how many seeds this one has. So indeed, this one has, looks like it has three seeds in it. So let's confirm. Just uh, use your nail. There's one seed. There's two seeds. And three seeds, three juicy seeds ready for planting. So it looks like I'm going to have a little plantation here of salak palm, which is pretty cool because uh, this is Canada. Maybe I'll grow them in greenhouses. But anyways, we'll just leave these to soak for a little. Um, some of them I won't soak and we'll see what goes on with that. So here we are 24 hours later with these salak seeds which uh, have been soaked in water for 24 hours. Let's um, put them into this potting soil we have here and I'm going to put them at all different angles or positions because I don't really know what where the where the shoot would come out or anything so we'll just we'll just be random about it and normally it doesn't really matter at all um, because the shoot will just turn or whatever it needs to do to go up or down right Plants can sense gravity. Um, I forget what it's called. Gravitropic. And also light. Well, once it gets out of the soil. So, um, so they're there just on top of the potting soil. And I'll just cover it in a thin layer of potting soil. So perhaps a centimeter of potting soil. What they say is for plants is that you should cover it in soil that is equal to the thickness of the seed. So these are about one centimeter thick. So one centimeter of potting soil should work. 
and then we will go and place this on top of the refrigerator where it's warm. If you have a heating mat for uh, seed propagation, that's great as well. You know, you could set it at 21, 22 degrees Celsius. Um, but I'll just put mine on top of the refrigerator where there's a light and where it's warm. Here we are on top of uh, the refrigerator or the germination station. It's a great place to germinate seeds because the refrigerator gets really warm. And I also have a light on top. It's just a standard 800, maybe it's a 1600 lumen soft white light bulb, but that works great. Keeps that uh, spider plant alive as well. So this spot is salak seeds that were not soaked for 24 hours. And this one is salak seeds that were soaked for 24 hours. We'll see which of the two germinate first. But in any case, we're also going to do the uh, wet paper towel method. So in there, I have salak seeds that were not soaked for 24 hours. Wet paper towel on top. And we'll just put it like that. Then we'll take these three salak seeds that were soaked for 24 hours and put them in the container to let them germinate with the wet paper towel method. So that should work out well as also. So what you want to do is um, get a wet paper towel and cover that up. So here we have a wet paper towel that's wet with room temperature water. And we're just going to put that on top. It's not soaking wet, by the way. It's just, it's very damp. But it's not soaking wet. And we'll just put that on top like that. And then we will cover it fully with the cover. You don't need to worry about oxygen or anything like that. That's fine. We'll cover it fully. And as you'll see, I wrote Salak on it, what it is, the date. And then I further labeled it. Bottom, I didn't soak it for 24 hours. And then the seeds on top, I soaked for 24 hours. So we will come back once these germinate and we will see um, how they do. Okay, it's now been eight to nine days and we're back here on top of the refrigerator. So uh, we're looking at the salak and you can see these two pots on the left with the dirt. No activity, right? I'm sure there's activity under the soil, but just no activity that can be seen. But in this wet paper towel germination container, we can see that there is some action going on. So, The salak seed is pushing out the roots, what will be the roots and the stem of the new plant. It's pretty interesting. It's a perfect circle there. And it's just pushing it out like that. So this is where the, the roots and the stem will be coming out from. So I suppose that burying it sideways in the soil is the best position for the seeds. It doesn't really matter though, because seeds will survive and make their way no matter what. So those seeds were, those three seeds there, were soaked for 24 hours before being put 
into the white paper towel. But the interesting thing is that, let's just put those aside. So all three of them are germinating. But the interesting thing is that for the seeds that were not soaked, they are also germinating. So let's uh, put that back and we will come back again to see root and stem growth. So now it's a little while later and if we look at the salak seeds, you can see that the little stem part that pushed out of the seed is now a root. So the seed is going to send a root and a stem out of this area. So what we're going to do is we're going to plant it in dirt now. Um, I've already I had six up there that were germinating really well. And there's dirt in there because I already planted three of them here. What I'm going to do is I'm going to put the other six, sorry, the other three in the dirt here. And this is kind of a small pot. If you don't want to repot it too early, too soon later, you can put in each one in an individual pot or a bigger pot. But in this case, I'm just going to go like that. I'll put the root and stem towards the outside and root facing down because it was growing like that position already. So I'll just do that. Careful not to damage the new root there. And that one as well. Now for these, for these ones, I'm putting the, the seed towards the middle and the root towards the outside because so the plants can grow separately, all right? This one, I actually put the roots towards the middle, but I realize what, what's going to happen is that uh, the plants are going to grow together too close to each other maybe, the roots might get tangled, so in this case, I'll just put them separately. Seed, uh, seed pod towards the inside and roots towards the outside. And then it should be easier to transplant later on. So just be gentle, that's all you need. And pretty much just bury it with the soil. And you don't need to bury it too deeply. Just a light covering. And I perhaps want a little bit more soil here, but uh, that's okay for now. Just a little bit of soil. And you missed it after you're done. And so uh, I'll do that, and then we'll come back in a couple of weeks to see uh, the sprouts. So here we have the pot with the salak that was germinated in paper towels. You'll see there's a crack of the seeds actually coming up through the soil. And over here, this pot, it's a salak that was planted directly in the soil. And on the left lower corner, you'll see a little little uh, shoot popping through the soil. So those both are going well. Um, we'll come back a little later to see. So 
it's been 27 days since we um, used the wet paper towel method on these salak seeds or snake fruit seeds and there's a little red stem poking up through the soil and you know that the stem if you can see the stem that means the root is probably a lot more well developed and here you can see three red stems as well or two perhaps and the one that you can see the two that you can see the most there's one over there on the right but this one is one that was planted directly in the soil and you can see it coming up so we'll come back a little bit later to see the salak grow even larger so the salak seeds are coming along nicely as you can see, these are the salak that were grown with the wet paper towel method. And you can clearly see the shoots coming out from the seeds and the roots that have gone down into the paper towel. What I'll do now though is transplant them to the soil because obviously they'll need the nutrients Daddy. in the soil to grow. And yeah, that's a good look at the salak seed. So with the roots coming out and the pink top there. Now the fruits look strange and so do these seeds. These are the ones planted in soil and they're coming up. You can see the red. So here are the salak palm trees six weeks after they were taken from the seed. And as you can see, this, this one has come along the furthest as it not only had the initial sprout but a second leaf uh, coming out there. Uh, the other two don't have a second one coming out. In this spot, there's a second one, a second leaf coming out as well. And same with some of these. Now, these ones right here, they were germinated with the wet paper towel method and put in the soil. So they're actually growing a little slower, they're a little smaller. But uh, these two pots here, they were, they were planted directly in the soil without any soaking. So they're coming along really well. And these two pots were soaked for, the seeds were soaked for 24 hours before they were planted in soil. And it seems like they, basically have the same rate of growth, which is, uh, you know, the tallest one is about three centimeters high now, four centimeters, but uh, similar. So I guess for salak, uh, soaking in water for 24 hours is not really necessary. The germination rate hadn't improved or anything like that, um, but planting them directly in the soil was definitely superior to uh, soaking them in the wet paper towel. Um, anyways, I think that's what I did. Uh, I forget, it's been a couple of weeks. Uh, so anyways, forgive me if I uh, made a mistake on uh, what methods I used. Uh, but anyways, this is the result. And if you can find the seeds in uh, North America, that's uh, pretty lucky. Otherwise, you'll have to go to Indonesia. But uh, 
That's that, and uh, good luck with uh, planting your salak if you do find the seeds to grow. So here's the biggest um, snake fruit or salak uh, seedling. Two months after they were uh, germinated. So you can see the leaves coming out and uh, spreading out, coming out of the stem like that. So I guess that's how they grow, or that is how they grow. The true, the first true leaves come out from this first red stem that they send up. Pretty interesting palm. Uh, I don't think it's going to be the most beautiful palm, but uh, they're fun to grow and very easy as well. And here is the largest salak. The, the leaves are getting quite large. Um, as big as a child's hand. But uh, as you can see, the leaves come up and then they unfurl going downwards. So kind of a cool looking plant. So that's the fastest growing one right there. And the one beside it, its leaves have yet to fully unfurl. But there are many neighbors which, whose leaves have unfurled at different speeds. So that's how you grow salak from seed. Not too terribly complicated, actually. So these are the salak seedlings now. And, and if you take a look at this one, this is uh, my fastest grower. The leaf that unfurled is actually one leaf, or it's connected at the base quite a lot. It looks like two leaves though. Um, and there are little spikes all along the leaves. So if I do that, right, it like catches your hand. And you can see the little spikes actually down there. Um, two little spikes and all the salak have spikes all over, which is uh, kind of interesting, I guess. And they're all growing pretty vigorously. So yes, one of the easier types of plants to grow from seed.